Hey, this is Artifacts of Mars. And the wackos are uh, at it again. Now they're claiming that melting glaciers are are to blame for the slowing of Earth's rotation. It's just precious. Here's an article from 2007 saying that global warming is going to do the exact opposite. I mean, <laughs> which one is it? <laughs> What they're referencing, what the other article is referencing, and go back to it, the writer's article, referencing something called the Law of the Conservation of Angular Momentum, where the uh, ice skater brings in her arms and she starts rotating faster because the mass from uh, her arms is closer to her center of gravity. According to this law, she's going to speed up to conserve the angular momentum that she has when she's spinning. Or he or she. Uh, so what these idiots are claiming is that the ice is warming up in the north. And then it goes to the, uh, what do you call it, the equatorial regions and the levels rise, which they haven't been rising, and that's why we're slowing down. Really, folks, there's a whole bunch of different uh, reasons this can be happening. These people are uh, just plain nuts. They're also claiming that uh, this is causing a slight migration of the Earth's axis or the North Pole in a phenomenon known as polar wander, the research said. Now, uh, no. Earth's a axis is, uh, wanders all by itself. It kind of wobbles a little. I forget what the name of the wobble is. Research looked at changes in plants' rotation and axis and why the world's sea level rise in the 20th century as a result of increasing global temperatures. The melting of the ice sheets and the rise in sea levels move the plants' rotation axis or North Pole at rates of less than a centimeter per year. Mitrovic uh, said, This melting slowed the Earth's rotation and increased duration of a day by about a thousandth of a second over 20 seconds. Who cares? These are small effects, but are another indication of the profound impact of human-induced climate change on the planet. <laughs> Observed rotation and slowdown does not pose a danger to the planet, he said. And then they contradict themselves. If polar ice sheets melt at higher rates this century, as experts forecast them to do, the impact on the Earth's rotation will grow, Mitrovica said. Let's see who this idiot is. Harvard University geophysicist Jerry Mitrovica. That's all you need to hear is Harvard. It's a hardcore left wing uh left wing fanatic school. That's all I needed to see. Like you said, you know, here's that other article that says global warming's gonna make 
uh, they spin faster. Spin faster, spin slower. <laughs> Take your pick. So there you have it, uh, these nut cases on the left. Now they're saying we're causing the Earth's rotation to change radically. Well, at least slightly. They didn't really say radical. But, uh, we can't take these people seriously. Uh, I'm just laughing at them. This is just plain nuts. Um, there are all sorts of forces within the Earth and without and all over the uh, solar system that are responsible for this. The moon, sun, planetary alignments, all sorts of things can have an effect on this. But they're blaming your tailpipe. This is absurd. It's ridiculous. This is a nutcase. Well, multiple nutcases. Like I said, they're uh, claiming that. Uh, you know, in one article they claim the Earth is speeding up. In the other article they're claiming the Earth is slowing down. Utter BS. <laughs> I just laugh at these people. They're crazy. They're crazier than loons. Here's what they're saying. A lander and his colleagues modeled the changes that would occur if most realistic estimates made by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Doubling of Carbon dioxide levels in 2100 compared with 2000 were become a reality. The team found that as the temperature of the ocean rises, the resulting changes in density and circulation will cause net transfer of mass to the higher latitudes closer to the Earth's uh, axis rotation. <laughs> They're saying the exact opposite of what these other people are saying. Do you need CMR? These are not cases. These are the inmates running the asylums. I don't know how else to put it. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.